guys, welcome to church. Today we're gonna have so much fun learning more about God and how he wants us to live. We're gonna have an awesome message, but before we do, we're gonna go ahead and join in a time of worship. So go ahead and stand, sit, dance or sing, and join in as we worship God together. Here we go.
I'm Danny, and I'm so excited that you're here today. You know, there's so many fun places that you can visit in your neighborhood. And no matter where you go, you can always learn something about Jesus. Today, we're gonna take a walk through my neighborhood, and we're gonna find the answer to today's big question. Who is always with you? So. Welcome to the neighborhood. It's always nice to be with you. Let's go to the neighborhood and we'll learn something new. Learning from our neighbors, we'll learn about Jesus too. Together we can help each other, cause that's what God likes us to do. Welcome to the neighborhood, it's always nice to be with you. Let's go to the neighborhood and we'll learn something new. Come on, guys, let's go! This is the neighborhood where I live, and I have a lot of friends who live here too. There's also lots of great places to visit, like the donut shop, or the trampoline park, or even the fire station. In fact, we're gonna head over to the fire station right now, and I want you to meet my friend, the fire captain and I'm hoping he can help us find the answer to today's big question. Are you ready? Great, come on. Oh, hello there, fire captain. Well, hey there, Dan Dan the Music Man. It's great to see you. It's great to see you too. Hey, I brought my friends with me today, the CCV Kids. Nice to meet you, and welcome to the neighborhood. Hey, can you tell us a little bit about what you do here at the fire station? Well, it's pretty simple, really. Fighting fires with my fire truck is really fun But I gotta clean up when I'm all done Wash, wash, dry Wash, wash, dry Whoa! Kids, do you want to try that with the fire captain? Okay, stand up on your feet Here we go One, two, three Wash, wash, dry Wash, wash, dry Yeah! Wash, wash, dry Wash, wash, dry. One more time. Wash, wash, dry. Wow, great job, everyone. Well, Danny, how can I help you today? Okay, well, see, the CCV kids and I were just hoping that you could help us find the answer to our big question. Who is always with you? I think I can help with that. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Oh, that's Firefighter Fred. He's about to test the alarm to make sure it's working properly. This is not an emergency. This is just a test. I repeat, this is just a test. Sounding alarm in three, two, one. Wow, that is really loud. It's gotta be loud, so we can hear when there's an emergency. This has been a test of the emergency alarm system. Thank you. Well, Fire Captain, what happens if there's a real emergency, like a fire? Well, when the alarm goes off, I get my crew ready for action. We put on our safety gear and jump into the fire truck and head straight to the fire. Wow, that sounds like fun, but also kind of dangerous. Well, yeah, when we get there, I make sure everyone stays safe and I help put out the fire. Oh, well, that's a big job. It sure is. As the captain, I'm always there to help my crew. Hey, you know, the CCV kids and I, well, we're not firemen, but 
We know someone who's always with us and ready to help, too. And not just in emergencies, but all the time. I know just who you're thinking of. Yep, there's a Bible story about some flames of fire and someone special who came to help Jesus' friends. And you know what we need to tell a Bible story? A Bible! I have one right here on my phone. Cool. Are you ready? When you ask what is the right thing I should choose to do, or when you want to learn about the love God has for you, let's jump into the Bible to learn who's always here with us, everybody. Stand to your feet. Okay, here we go. It's easy. On the count of three. One, two, three, jump! Jesus is God's Son and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, He taught everyone about God's love. He healed people from their sicknesses and did many miracles, like calming a storm. Jesus even raised people from the dead. But some people did not like what Jesus was doing, so they put Him to death. Jesus died on a cross. A good man placed Jesus' body in a tomb. Three days passed. It seemed like there was no hope, but very early on Sunday morning, a woman who cared for Jesus went to visit him. She found that his tomb was empty, and an angel appeared to them and said, Don't be afraid. Jesus is not here. He is risen. Jesus is alive. They all ran to tell the disciples what they had seen and heard. Jesus was alive. After that, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others to show them that he was alive and well. He told them that he had to die so that everyone's sins could be forgiven and they could be with God forever. After some time had passed, Jesus led the disciples to a place called Bethany. Jesus blessed his disciples and he told them to go out to the whole entire world and tell everyone about him and the good news of his forgiveness. Jesus told them that he would send a helper. The helper's name is the Holy Spirit. Then Jesus said, be sure of this, I am with you always and forever. Then Jesus was taken into heaven to be with God. Not long after that, Jesus' disciples were in a room together. Suddenly, a strong wind filled the room and something that looked like fire appeared on each person. It was the Holy Spirit the helper that Jesus had promised to send. After that, the disciples knew that Jesus would always be with them. The Holy Spirit is still with us today. Jesus promised that he would be with us always. And by his spirit, he is. Wow, that story was amazing. Jesus sent fiery flames to tell his friends that his spirit was always gonna be there with them. That's right. Jesus' spirit can live inside each one of us. No matter what we're going through, we have a helper who's always with us, Jesus. That's right. CCV Kids, we just found the answer to today's big question. Who is always with you? The answer is, Jesus is always with me. Who is always with you? Jesus, Jesus is always with, with me. me. I fight fires every day, but that's one flame I know I won't put out. That's right. And whenever we see a fiery flame, we'll remember that Jesus is always with us. You can learn about Jesus anywhere, even at the fire station. You sure can. Well, I guess we better get going. 
Thanks so much for showing us about the fire station, fire captain. And thanks for helping us out. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, friends. See you in the neighborhood. <laughs> Goodbye now from the neighborhood. It sure was nice to be with you. See you next time in the neighborhood. And we'll learn something new. Goodbye for now, friends.